What's up, Wolverine Nation? It's your boy, TJ Roan, and we are back with another recruiting breakdown video because we have added another addition to the 2025 class, another weapon, another specialist, another freak. This kid is stupid fast. Uh, you can find me at TJ underscore Ronan on Twitter, on X. Uh, I appreciate everyone giving me follows recently, uh, building the community over there. Much appreciated. But let's get to the man of the hour, Philip Wright, 5'11 wide receiver, 175 pounds out of Louisiana. Uh, he is ranked uh, in the composite as a three star and by 247. But as you guys know, we are not rankings watchers, we are film watchers. And we, we what we will look at, and we will cover his film. We will look at the class. We will also uh, look at the depth chart as a whole for the class. And we will uh, not only look at the future outlook, but we will look at the current outlook. That's what we do here. And I'm going to tell you guys, when we get into his film, I'm going to play two videos. One video is going to be his most recent film. It's very short. It's only about like 15 seconds. It's like some clips from a spring game that's just a few months ago. But what I want to highlight in that clip is you can see the potential in his route running. Um, we're talking about a kid with – extreme acceleration great get out out of, out of his stance and um you're looking at a more uh i would say crisp route runner than you will see in the second video we will play which is a much longer video but in the second video you will definitely see his skill set and uh this is an exciting prospect um i do believe when you add jacob when you when you have jacob washington who is our x wide receiver you have philip wright who is a y type slot receiver and then you are looking and we are going to project here with andrew marsh at the z position we are looking at an extremely good class with a lot of weapons. And let's not forget, Andrew Olish was added at tight end. We have Eli Owens at H-back. And we have Donovan Johnson and Jasper Parker, who is shooting up the rankings right now. He's now ranked, I think, in the maybe the top 200 off the top of my head. If it's not top 200, it's like the top 220. Michigan's class is doing well. We're doing great at the position. But let's get to the highlight tape. All right. So we're going to look at the first highlight tape here. Uh, this is his most recent one. You guys are going to see his uh, his potential here. So he's going to get out of the stance. Look at his cut. Quick, easy. He does slide, but you can also see what I'm talking about here. Now, right here, boom, gets past his guy. It's nothing. He makes it look easy. Great over overhead catch. I cannot stress that enough. That is such a difficult catch. If anyone has played uh, competitive ball and uh, has had to try to catch a ball like that, it is not easy to eye it or time it. He does a great job there and going full speed, and he's a hands catcher. You love to see it. Let's get to the next tape. So here we go. Now we have now we have a much larger sample size here. You're going to see his speed in effect, okay? We are talking about a true weapon right here. He, gets, he can take the top off the defense. He's going to be a problem, guys. This type of receiver, right? And here you're going to see an end around. This is some Jamison Williams type shit right here. Look at him just cut through the defense like butter, like a knife through butter, like it is nothing. Um, the, the reason why this is an extremely important weapon for an offense like Michigan is because obviously we are a power run game. And when you have the threat of this type of receiver, defenses have to respect his speed. This kid is no joke. This kid runs a 10 4 6 hundred meter. And for those who don't know, and if you have not been watching our show, we've been covering this kid for the last, I don't know, good month. This is also a kid I've had a lock on. So this is another lock landed. Uh, but what you what we're looking at here is a kid with 10 4 6 speed, right? Now, listen to put that in context, Denard Robinson had 10 5 5 speed as a junior. Xavier Worthy, who has the fastest 40 uh time in NFL history, had a 10 5 5 40 as a junior. This kid is already had is pulling faster 100 meter times than those two. Now, I am not saying he's going to break the NFL record with 40 times, but what I am saying, and you can see in the tape, you got a kid with crazy acceleration crazy burst and top end speed okay these are rare you cannot teach this this is a weapon i love his cut ability uh we're looking at a, a serious um a threat on our offense in the future and we've all discussed and let's we can take a look at the highlight tape because i know I'm, I'm i'm not necessarily dissecting the film right now because the reality is i'm letting the film do the talking there's not much for me to even say we're looking at an elite athlete okay so i, I love this addition to the class uh, he's, I will add, I would, I would, I will say he's probably top four or five favorite prospect in the class right now. I just think his upside is, is, is tremendous. I mean, this kid literally has the, uh, you know, I know he's ranked where he's ranked in the rankings and that's unfortunate for them because, uh, he really could be a day one or at least it's, you know, 
first round or second round type draft pick. That's the type of uh, skill set we're looking at here. Um, but I do think for Michigan in general, we're looking at a player who year two, year three, and maybe his freshman year gets opportunity on kick return. Uh, that's the type of threat we're looking at. So uh, you you love to see this type of stuff, you know, and an excellent player added to the class. Now let's look at the class as a whole right now. Uh, we're going to switch to this tab. So Michigan's class as a whole, let's uh, let's refresh the play page, see if they got us updated yet. I don't think they do. They don't. Okay, so we are not updated, but here is the good news. So before they update it, it says we are ranked 12. We are going to be ranked in the top 10 now. So we now have a top 10 class. So everyone who is a rankings watcher, you can rejoice and uh, be happy that we have made it in the top 10. This is our class as a whole. We go through it every time. We obviously have our cornerstone players and Ivan Taylor, Kainoa Winston, Nate Marshall, Andrew Olish, Jalen uh, Williams, I would also argue, along with Avery Gash, our cornerstone players, even though they're ranked a little later in the rankings. But as you know, Avery Gash won MVP in the Rivals camp, uh, and he looked fantastic. Jalen Williams is far better than a top 150. He's a top 100 player. It, that's, it's just wild to me, some of these rankings, but it is what it is. Carter Smith is a, a – you know, let's look at the composite. Let's go to the composite here. Um, Carter Smith is an extremely high upside player. Uh, we're just looking for a little more polished mechanics, and I know he's going to work very hard on it. And for anyone uh, who is new to the uh, Michigan football, the voice of college football, uh, starting in fall when high school football begins, we are going to be doing a segment called uh, the Future Blue Stock Report. And I will be covering every single one of these commits through their high school senior season, and we will be doing progress reports and stock reports. Uh, for every single one of these guys throughout the year. So stay tuned for that. If you have not subscribed to Michigan Football, the voice of college football, uh, I would like to recommend please subscribing and then please hitting the bell. We are on a mission right now to catch the Ohio State channel within the network. We are about 760 away from doing so. Please help us out in doing that because as we know, Ohio State should never be above us in anything, not even water polo. All right, so we're going through the class. We got Jacob Washington, our true X wide receiver, another athletic freak, extremely good addition to the class. Julius Holly, who's going to be playing the same position opposite of Nate Marshall. Uh, this is your uh, David Ajabo type. Jasper Parker, who's shooting up the rankings in the composite. He's a 302, but uh, there are some uh, ranking uh, evaluators who have him, uh, I believe. Let's see what 247 has. Let's, let's just take a look at him. Okay, so 247 has yet to evolve him. I believe it is on three who has him. Uh, it is on three who has him ranked, I think, uh, 215 or maybe higher. Uh, so apologies for not knowing the exact number on that. And this is our class as a whole, the remainder of the class. And as we know, Chase Taylor is not a 600-level player, but it is what it is. We don't worry about the rankings. We watch tape. So now let's jump to, uh, let's jump to our depth chart for the class right now and for some reason it is not pulling up so let me reload it but even so so i will pull it up when it uh loads here and but adding philip right to the class as we have mentioned and here's the depth chart for the class uh, we have it right here. We have Philip Wright in the Y slot. We have Jacob Washington in the X. Uh, the Z position is looking empty, but uh, I would caution, word of caution, or not word of caution, word of optimism. Uh, that position is looking to be filled, and we feel optimistic about that. And here we are, guys. We are looking at a class with 13 blue chip players. We have the, um, I believe we are fifth in blue chip ratio uh, in the nation. We have a uh, an overall composite score of um let's see i think it was 91 91 or 92 it's one of the highest in the nation it's also in the in the uh ranked top seven and what we have is a, a very well-rounded class that we're only adding to it we are obviously after some major targets i think we all know that there's been some buzz uh, in michigan recruiting recently about and i know i put a post out yesterday regarding uh some smoke with uh some top targets that Michigan is pursuing. We will have more on that on Tuesday. We will cover that more in-depthly. Stay tuned. Uh, we will be having that on Michigan Wolverines Live at 8 p.m. 
And this is our class, guys. Um, let me pull the banner down so we can get a better look at it. So I want to apologize for that. Um, this is the class as a whole. And we have a very strong class. And they are not only building this class to be a good foundation for Sharon Moore's future and beyond, but this is also a foundation class for the next class, which is going to be 2026. And Michigan has major plans for 2026. They are going to be recruiting that class very hard. We are going to have more on that because barbecue at the big house is going to be a big weekend for not only the 2025 class to also get some commits through there, but also the 2026 class, which we will have all that covered uh, at Michigan football, the voice of college football. Uh, and, and that is, uh, you know, the, the, the current vision for Michigan is simply to build this class for the future foundation for Chiro and then have the 2026 class elevated even further. And we know that already with Brady Hart, who will be a five-star quarterback before it's all said and done. I'm extremely positive about that and elite talent. But here we are, guys. And uh, we have, in my opinion, an excellent class. I think we all would agree there is, there is a missing uh, link here or a missing or a hole within the class at the cornerback position. But there's good news there. I put in a lock for Jaden Sanders. So that's looking good. Uh, he will be visiting for Barbecue at the Big House. And as we said, we will have that covered. Uh, we can get more in depth there. They are going after other targets at the cornerback position. We will see what transpires there. But as a whole, I think we would all agree that Michigan is doing a good job in recruiting since they've improved their uh, recruiting strategy. And uh, hats off to Sharon Moore, Sean McGee, Jared Wagner, Wink Martindale, and Kirk Campbell for putting in a hell of a class. And Ron Bellamy, hats off to you, man. Hats off to Ron Bellamy. He's putting in an extremely good wide receiver class um, and just excellent job all around. Everyone's putting in work right now. So shout out to Michigan. Good job, everyone. Uh, I do not expect any more commitments before our next show on Tuesday, which will be Michigan Wolverines Live at 8 o'clock. You can catch me, John Diadimo, there. Uh, and then next Thursday is the call-in show. It'll be me and the special guest next Thursday is going to be Maze Madman. He will be joining me for the call and show. Stay tuned for that. Looking forward to that. That is also at 8 p.m. And until then, Wolverine Nation, as you know, it is always go blue.